Hi everybody, welcome to another craft tutorial with me, Laura, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make, well the secrets really, to a really fluffy pom-pom. Now some of you may be quite used to making pom-poms, but those who haven't, I'm going to be using, so there's a bit of a review video as well, I'm going to be using the Clover pom-pom maker here, I've got a sort of medium size one. And the yarn that I've chosen is actually a slightly sparkly yarn, it's a Serda Snuggly Pearls DK yarn, it's got a nice little bit of uh, sparkle in there, I've got three different colours. So I've made a little pastel blue one, and I'm going to probably make a purple one for this video this one here and the other trick to a good fluffy pom-pom is some really really sharp scissors now these are actually my material cutting uh, draper scissors um, so you want to get yourself some really really sharp scissors preferably smaller ones than this so these are a little bit too big but the main thing is to remember is to get some really sharp scissors you don't want any blunt scissors okay so to use a pom-pom maker if you've never used one before the clover pom-pom maker looks a little bit like this and you can put it apart like so. Um, I can't remember how they appear when you actually buy one. I think they're all ready together. But if not, you just pin that into the center like so. And these open up like so. So these open up. And what you want to do is make sure, because they could be all over the place, you want to make sure that two of them line up on top of each other like so. And these ones as well line up and you can tuck in two of them so the bottom ones if you want and we can work on the top two and what we're going to do is we're going to take our yarn and we're going to wrap it around these two first then we're going to wrap it around these two here so just open up these so depending on how they appear and then just find two and put them together one from either side and let's take our sparkly yarn and Let's find the end of our yarn. Find the end of our yarn. Oh, where's it going to be? Probably should have found that before I started my video. There we go, there's the end. Sensibly tucked into the bit, the end, where I didn't look. But anyway. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we are going to just place the top of your yarn on the curve at the top of the curve and then just hold that with your finger like so and you can either wrap it in this direction or you can wrap it in the other direction so whatever's comfortable for you I'm going to wrap it in this direction maybe I did it the other way last time and basically just keep wrapping it around it's going around both bits and now I can let go of that now it's going around both of these circular thing uh, what you want to do is just make sure to hold them in place so they don't slip around too much. Just hold them as you wrap the yarn around your pom-pom maker. And what you want to do is to wrap it round evenly. So just wrap it around nice and evenly. It doesn't have to be perfect. Really doesn't matter. And get right up to those corners. Okay, right up to those corners. And when you get there, just come back and try to keep it nice and consistent. Try not to do sort of this and wrapping around all the way over like that. Try and keep it just nice and consistent and straight wrapping. Okay, and you want to do this for quite a while. You want it nice to be packed, nice and fluffy. So the more yarn that you add at this stage, the fluffier your pom-pom is going to be. So what I shall do is I shall keep wrapping this round and then I'll come back and show you how much I've wrapped it round so you can see pretty much until the yarn is almost level with these edges here you get a very very slight curve. Okay so I'm going to do that I'm going to keep wrapping this round and then come back and show you. So I'm just wrapping it round still, but one thing I would just like to say is make sure you don't get any yarn trapped around the ends here or twisted up like that. You want to keep it nice and neat either side so no extra yarn is appearing uh, over the edge. And just keep going backwards and forwards from one side to the other nice and consistently. And like I said, try not to do this sort of wrapping. You want it to be nice and straight. Okay. 
Okay, so I think that is about done. As you can see there, I've wrapped it quite a lot around this and I think pretty much that's all I can do until it starts going over the edge and start pushing my luck with it a bit. And as you can see, the bottom of the pom-pom yarn, you can see the yarn is almost level with these bit here. So what you want to do now, let's just get that over the edge because I don't want any extra bits in the way. So probably even slightly wrap this too much. There we go, you don't want any bits hanging over the edge. Okay, so then what you're going to do is cut the yarn, but cut it at the top, so about here. Just cut it there. And then all you need to do is just fold this to the center of your main pom-pom and do exactly the same for the other side. So I'm gonna do exactly the same for the other side, and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. And again, I'm just going to take the end. This is where you can even have a lot of fun. You could actually do purple this side and a different color this side, end up with a multicolor pom-pom. But again, I'm just going to place the end over the top and just hold that. And I'm going to wrap it, make sure these are lined up together and then just wrap it around neatly like so going from one side to the other nice straight wrapping consistent and neat from one side to the other until again the yarn is almost so fat it lines up with the edges okay so i'm going to do that for this side as well and i'll show you what to do next get right up into those corners as well be careful to keep the yarn on the inside. Okay. okay, so I've done the other side. You can see it's pretty fat. It's almost lining up on the to the edge and there's no yarn hanging over the edge. So bring the yarn to the top and trim it at the top. Like so. That reaches all the way around. And then fold that one into the center as well. So the more patience you put in at this stage, the better your pom-pom will end up. So do have patience, do keep wrapping. So if you're only gonna wrap halfway and uh, go for that effort anyway, and you don't make it nice and chunky, then your pom-pom just won't be as fluffy and all that energy would have gone to waste. So do put the effort in to begin and uh, you'll be rewarded. And then what we're going to do is, this is where we need our really sharp scissors. and as you can see, at each end, there's like a little gap in between. And what we're going to do is just put our scissors into that gap and then snip. And don't worry, it's not going to come undone because the pom-pom maker will hold it into place. And as you trim, trim in a straight line down the middle, there should be a groove, as you can see there, down the center where your scissors can slip into. This is why smaller scissors work better than but there you go, a little groove there, can you see that? That's where you want to put your scissors and just trim in a straight line as neatly as you can down the middle. Okay, and then make sure there's no bits that are catching. Just trim and do the same, turn it over, do the same for the other side. Now, out of all the pom pom makers, used and I've used quite a different uh, quite a lot of different ones including my own cardboard ones I've found these these ones that open up so you can do either side and um, such as the clover one the best by far for making pom -poms, the quickest as well the ones that are sort of donut shaped are incredibly frustrating to you so don't buy those <laughs> because you have to feed the yarn through and that'll just take you forever Okay, so once you've done that, it should look a little something like that. And don't worry, it's not going to come undone if it's all closed. And you can see how fluffy it's looking already. But then what we want to do is take a length of your yarn. Just trim that off. And we're going to feed this length of yarn down the gap that we've just cut with our scissors. Okay. And I'm going to turn it over and just bring it to here. So you've got this yarn fed through around the middle that we just where we cut with our scissors. And then we're going to tie a knot, just one knot, like so, and making sure that making sure that the yarn goes 
right down the centre and doesn't get caught anywhere else. We're going to pull that as tight as we can but without obviously breaking the yarn. So just pull it as tight as you can but don't pull it so it breaks. Then turn it over and do the same again, another single knot. Okay, again making sure that it's not catching on anything, it's going down the centre. Again, pull that nice and tight, not so tight it breaks. Then turn it over again and do it one last time. This time we'll do a double knot to secure it. Okay, make sure it's not catching anywhere. Pull it nice and tight and then do a double knot on top. Okay, and I'm going to keep these lengths um, for my pom-pom to hang it up so you don't have to um, sew anything through to hang it up. So these are nice and secure, not going to come out. So I'm going to keep those. But then what we want to do is take off our pom-pom maker. So we're going to find these little lips here, these little levers, and we're just going to lift that up as gently as you can. Okay, just open that up. Same with this side. Okay, and turn it over and do the same for these two as well. Two. Okay, and then you want to get either side and pull it apart. Okay, and then you can put your pom pom maker away until you're ready for your next one. So we finish with our pom pom maker. Then we just want to hide the edge like so. But as you can see, it's still, even though it's quite fluffy already, it still looks a little bit bedraggled compared to this one. And one thing to remember when you want to make a really nice fluffy pom pom is the, uh, the end product, the end pom-pom, is going to be slightly smaller than um, your pom-pom maker. So because I'm going to, you're going to trim it down. So you could leave it like that if you like the look of that. Or what you can do is holding these out of the way, take again your sharp scissors and spend a good five to ten minutes of just trimming. And don't worry about cutting it. It's not going to come undone. And what this does, and if you do this as well, ruffle it up, it will create a nice fluffy edge. And you're also going to get a lot of fluff everywhere, so it's worth putting down something if it's on your lap. It's worth putting down a piece of cloth material or kitchen roll or something to catch all the fluff. You create a lot of fluff. Okay, and just keep doing this as neatly as you can, all the way over, shaping it as round as you can, and every so often just fluffing it up so you can catch any of the longer pieces like so so your pom-pom maker is going to end up uh, pom -pom maker your pom-pom is going to end up slightly smaller but it will be a lot fluffier okay and be fairly brutal you don't need to cut loads off i'm cutting off sort of you know half a centimeter you don't want to do it any more than a centimeter really and just keep doing this all the way around it can actually be quite addictive because you can never really quite know when to stop. So you just need to do as best as you can until you can't see any extra strag straggly bits. Okay, fluff it up and trim. So I'm going to carry on doing this and then I'll show you the finished pom-pom. So you can see it starts to create a much fluffier edge. This is where smaller scissors are better because these big heavy draper scissors are really heavy after a while. Even though they're incredibly sharp. You think my new wind chimes in the background. If you're wondering what that noise is. Okay, 
again. Okay, when you get so far, what you want to do is just hold it and then just do this basically. So make sure the shape looks okay and then this will also help show up any additional fluffy bits that stick out. So it's almost there, so there's a few little bits there. And just be careful when you're near the top to keep your strands out of the way if you want to keep those. So I'm just going to keep trimming. And there we go. So we'll have to stop at some point because you can keep trimming and trimming and trimming, but eventually you will end up with a nice fluffy pom pom like so. So there we go. So I hope that's helped you, if, especially if you've never made pom poms before, showing you how to use a pom-pom maker and also how to make sure that it gets nice and thick and fluffy and stays together as well so it's not going to fall apart and I've got this very strange strand which is a sparkly strand let's get rid of that so there we go so a trick the trick to a really nice chunky fluffy pom-pom is having the patience and wrapping it around lots and lots of yarn and uh, some sharp scissors I recommend more embroidery uh, embroidery scissors rather than these ones but as long as they're really nice sharp scissors and also making sure to when you wrap the yarn around to tie it to tie it nice and tight just before it, the yarn breaks to make sure that it keeps together and doesn't fall apart and then trim it down afterwards and there we go so i hope you've enjoyed that and uh, i will see you soon for some more crochet fun thanks for watching guys bye